Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I am going to attempt to read the scripture and chat a minute before I start getting out of breath or coughing or whatever. You never know what's going to come. Okay, here we go. This is Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Now, I'm going to read one more scripture, because I think it's very important. Romans chapter 1. I want you to hear what I'm talking about. And then we'll <clears throat> finish with Pat's two cents. Okay, here we go. Starting at verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed. Excuse me. Forever. Sorry. Amen. God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men. Working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Now, I'm going to stop there because I don't want to go into a coffin fit. And I want to try to be as brief as possible. But I, wanna, I want you to hear something. Because sometimes we, we wink at things that God is frowning upon and we wonder why things go awry why do we have these weird weather conditions why are certain tragedies seemingly so extreme so you got to hear this this is a news thing 11 at 11 spreading the good word on the job as an Indiana State trooper out of work tonight. That's right, ISP has fired senior trooper Brian Hamilton. If somebody pulled me over and asked me about anything, you know, I don't believe I'd want to sue him over something like that. Former ISP trooper Brian Hamilton is a popular man in Connorsville where he's often found preaching out in public. Everybody has a right to uh, to talk to people. He, was, he, he did not try to force himself on anyone. He asked a question. A question that ultimately got him fired. State police announced Hamilton's termination on Thursday in the wake of a second complaint. He was offering prayer while in state police uniform. You... Now, this is what I want to say. You've got porno, prostitutes, gay people, dope dealers, soliciting left and right. You've got X-rated crap on the, on the internet. And if you're not into it, they're going to throw some on your site to see if they can entice you and pull you in. Now, I, <coughs> sorry. What I want to know is what the heck sense does that make? They're going to sit there and fire somebody who's offering prayer. Do you hear what I'm saying? But somebody offering nookie, boote, dope, cocaine, heroin. You know how many times the cops wink at that? Think about that, you guys. We let things slide. 
that should be put to a complete stop. And we penalize people for trying to do good. What is happening with this world? It doesn't make sense to me. I hope it doesn't make sense to you. What is going on? They just showed another woman. I'm going to see if I can find her. They showed a woman who, oh, you got to hear this. Wait a minute. Let me, let me finish this because this woman had said a mouthful here. This is still part of this news. Listen. Doctors would do that. Maybe it might touch my kid's heart that they'll get in church and give their heart to God. But is that the role of a police officer or a state police trooper to it's preach? Anybody. Thank you. She said it's the role of everybody. Now listen, I'm going to go forward and I want you to hear, oh, this is where we're headed. Remember when the, uh, you know, the gay marriages were legalized. Okay, now listen to this. This is what gets me. We knew it was, if you bear with me, I'll bear with me. It, we knew it was going to be a downward spiral, correct? Okay, listen to this. I've got to read it to you. I can see that Police. now. Let's go forward. Okay, there it is. Mother Kim West falls in love with her, wait a minute, with her biological son wait a minute plans marriage and babies now we see this kind of stuff listen a case of anyway an english woman who starts sexual relationship with her own son denies that it's incest now that's another case of naming something that is evil Good and good, evil. <sighs> where are we headed, you guys? Can you tell we're in the last days? This man on one newscast, he was he found all these birds dead. Nobody knows how that happened. <clears throat> All that chemtrail stuff they're doing up in the air, and nobody knows. If you believe the lie, you might as well put dum-dum on your forehead. Because it's stuff they're doing to the air. That's not an act of God. That's a sin of man. And they got every reason to do what they want to do. Because man, they rationalize. But guess what? God knows what's going on, and so should we, okay? Now, what I'm saying all this to say, babe, we are definitely in the last days. Do you hear me? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, here it is again. I'm in love with my son, and I want to have his baby. Now, that's a quote from the New Day paper. Okay, now. And they're grinning with pride. They are grinning with pride. Okay, here it is. As it was in the days of Lot. Okay, that's what's happening right now. Luke chapter 17, verse 28. We have to remember. <coughs> oh, spending. Oh, here's another one, you guys. This one really got my spending attention. Spending cash may be going out of style. Hmm. And you know why? No need to carry cash in 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Japan is developing a system which requires your fingerprints rather than money. <laughs> Crazy. Does that sound like the mark of the beast? Being slowly integrated so that we don't suspect we don't smell any anything fishy we don't get suspicious we don't wonder we don't question we just play on facebook and take a bunch of selfies that's all we do because we want to be entertained 
Boy, I'm telling you, too many, too many folks on this earth are going to be entertained straight to hell. And they're going to be laughing all the way too till they get there. And they find out there's no way out and it's permanent, eternally. You know, I don't know what is up. It's like the media has programmed this. Dummy us down. Just dummy them down. A bunch of low class idiots. Dummy them down. Entertain them. Put the, you know, pacifier in their mouth. Keep them happy. Shut them up. Close their eyes. Right. So that we hear no evil, see no evil. and But we speak a whole lot of evil because it's commonplace. And that's what we do. So we get so caught up in the evil. It tastes good. It smells good. It ooh, feels good. That we ended up calling it good. We don't call evil evil. We call evil good. The Bible says woe to them that do that. Listen. Listen. You have got to understand, this is a demonic founded system <clears throat> from the media to politics, fashion, entertainment, you name it. We're in a scary time, you guys. If you never attempted <coughs> to draw close to God before, you better do it now. We don't know if we're going to be bombed in April, May, June, July. But you guys figure, oh, we're America, baby. We're untouchable. So you stay on the TV, the Internet, and you play. You play the games, you play with your body. You play with other people's bodies. You play because you just want to have fun. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. Baby, that time is coming up real short. It's winding up. And payday is coming. And you can ignore it all you want. And you get offended all you want. Because you think, I got it like that. I can do what I want to do. God just has to understand. God ain't got to do a doggone thing. You better get the right understanding. Because this ain't time to play anymore. <clears throat> I'm not going to plead with you. I don't have the strength. I just let the Lord do the convincing. And I pray to God. This is what I pray on you. I pray what somebody prayed on me and I thank God they prayed this on me. I'm just going to make mine a little more severe. I pray to God kills the taste in your mouth for sin. I pray to God kills your desire for sin. I pray to God helps open your eyes to the waste and the nonsense you've been living in. I pray that God sours it so much that you have nowhere else to turn but him. Even if you're dragging your feet all along the way, you have no other choice. Where else can I go? What else can I try? It's better that he be the last resort than be no resort. At least you got one. But I pray that. And I pray that you get so saved, that you get such revelation and spiritual insight, that you will finally get it. That not only will the light go on, the the the. Uh, what do you call those things? The strobe will go on in your mind. You will get it, get it, get it. Oh my goodness, what have I been doing? And when you look around and you see the frivolousness 
And I might, might have said it incorrectly. Forgive me if I did. <clears throat> you know what I look at when I look at Facebook? Superficial nonsense. Every once in a while, somebody will have a nice deep nugget and it's rich and it's, yeah. But for the most part, it's a playground. It's a playground. People can like and dislike and comment and do all that. People who have each other's phone numbers. Oh, boy, I'm so glad to see. Oh, you look so good. How's the family? Never will they pick up a phone and call each other. It's too intimate. See, that's the day and age of, 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 of the cyber world. We don't have to love and touch and hold and get involved in each other's lives. We can do it all with a long-handled spoon. Don't get too close, baby. I won't be bothered with your problems. And I don't want you in my business. At least I'm doing better, believe it or not. This internet <clears throat> is so full of traps and lures. You can click on something thinking you're getting ready to read about a medical situation. And before you know it, you're sitting there looking at a guy sucking something that he has no busy at him and, a, and some legs open and boobs showing. And you're saying, where did these roaches come from? Why are they pushing this so hard? There's a spirit behind it. That's why. They think they're playing. But they're being used as a puppet by the puppeteer, Satan. There's no other reason for them to want to spread that nonsense to anybody they don't know. I can see <clears throat> spreading it to folks you know enjoy that crap like you do. But people you don't even know, uploading it on Christian programs, Christian groups on Facebook. I stopped accepting friend requests. I stopped accepting group members because I realized most of them are out there just fishing around trying to, you know, blow somebody's system up so that they can have a good laugh. Listen, you guys, we're in the last days. This is the other thing that just came to my mind to tell you. Get ready, you guys. Demons are going to be really on the rise. They can play with you. They can jerk you around, do whatever they want. Your safety, I'm telling you, in these last days with these demons flying around here, your safety is in the Lord Jesus Christ. You better get an ear for God's voice. Accept Jesus, please. No more playtime. Okay, I'm done.